You don't know the half of what this man is like. He's a contamination. He's a vicious disease. And Sanada is just the last fucking nail in his coffin. Uh, what state was Brendan in by the end of the night? Totally inebriated. Emotionally? Totally emotional. Yeah, I wasn't being facetious. Neither was I, sir. He was maudlin. He was self-pitying. He was very abusive. And he was a bit weepy. Did he make any mention of any worries he had about a complaints investigation? No, sir. None at all. Take a deep breath, because this shit is about... about this? About what? Complaints were on the brain. Of course not. He said it, didn't he? Who? Said what? Brendan. Said what? Last night, he said fucking complaints. I didn't know what he meant. Look, you fucking deal with this. You needed your revenge, so you took it. So we did what we did. And you've got me to thank for helping you. Do I? And I had my own reasons as well. And is this him? What? Fucking complaints. Fuck complaints, Frank. Did you lie to me? I've completely been watching him, sir. Have you any cause to worry about that yourself? Does he get us? Sir. Due respect, now. Now, I know we all go through this hoo-ha about everybody hates cops that spy on cops. Well, believe you and me, that's a load of old fanny. Brendan's been up to some shite or other. Fuck him. I've not, and I'm not one associated with whatever it is he's been up to. Tell you the truth, I'm not even... You're not under investigation. As far as I've been made aware by Westwood. Right. So, two hours. A homophobe? An alcoholic binge drinker? And if he's not been on the fucking take from the first split second he got his skanky paws on that fucking warrant card, then... Look, I'm sorry, OK? I'm fucking sorry, but that's the way it goes. I've been DS McCann's partner for the last four years, so that means, for me, guilty by association. That's the way it works. That's the way complaints fucking work! I mean, that fucking Mercedes, sir! I mean, come on! All due respect. No offence, you couldn't afford that! Jesus! Taking this fucking long. That's it. Uh, no, he's, a, he's in a meeting at the moment. Okay. What's going on? Rob Queen's Ferry on the phone. They found Brendan's car. Found the Brendan's car. Been... In the fourth estuary. Jesus. <laughs> I think somebody's. Does it look like it was an accident? Diver says DS McCann is handcuffed to the steering wheel of his car. So if somebody's killed Brendan. Well, that's one conclusion we might be looking at here. Although. Of the what, sir? That also means we have the possibility of a determined suicide here. Possibility of determined suicide. Westwood's very words. You're a genius. You wiped his computer. You knew complaints were coming after him, and you knew he'd give you up because you're as fucking dirty as hell. Oh, fuck that. Somebody wiped Brendan's computer hard drive. Everything. Brendan could barely turn the fucking thing on. Take your fucking everything up. Get off me. You knew about fucking complaints! <laughs> fucking complaints. I beg your pardon. Brendan said it last night. He did say something about complaints. Oh, he did? Uh huh. When? Last night in the restaurant. When? At the end of the evening. Did he? Uh huh. He said. Fucking complaints, I'll fucking drown. I remember, he said it just before he threw the bottle that smashed the fish tank and before we took him home. You can check with Frank Agnew if you want, see if he remembers as well. This has just come back to you. Well, I didn't have the faintest idea of what he was on about, so it didn't really sink in. I thought he meant complaints about the food. Chinese. Fucking inedible. Big fish tank in the Dungguang. <laughs> Sonata didn't he die, Frank? Uh, 
Glaube mir. Glenn und Makan. Ich schreibe da. Und ich sehe da. He said he'd tell you that she used to be a prostitute before. He blackmailed her. Now all she had to do was bring a man back to the flat. And then Brendan really hurt the man. All night, tortured. When I got there, he was out of control, drinking Charlie, and he was out of his mind. So I pulled him off Sanada. And he whacked me, and he went through to the next room. She didn't know where she was. She was a mess. His gun went off. He killed the man. And Sonada disappeared while I was trying to handle Brendan. She climbed out the bedroom window, Frank. That's it. Do you know where she is? No, I don't. I've no idea where she is. I don't know where she is. You told me Brendan killed her. I know. Can you imagine all the things that have been in my head since you told me that? I know. And that made me do what we did to Brendan. I know. I couldn't have managed them on my own. I couldn't have done it on my own. I needed your help to end them. Not just because of all the stuff that he's done, but because of me, for my own sake, for me. Why? Because. Because he had my soul between his teeth, Frank. Sonata now, then, then you worry about your fucking soul! Joe, is it Joseph Geddes? Dear God, Joe. Yeah, it's been 15 years since my last confession, Father. You need a doctor. No, Father. You've been hurt. I killed a man. I conspired and plotted and took violent action. And I killed another human being, stone fucking dead, Father. Joe. And nobody knows about it but you. Joseph. And Frank Agnew. Joseph. No! What it's like when you discover something terrible, Father. Joe, listen to me, Joe. And the, and the Lord God above, the Lord God, can do fuck all as well. Do you know what it's like? Joe, listen to me. What are you oh. fucking doing now? <laughs> I won't fuck up, Father. 
Oh, my God. 